what unites us really is the belief that uh, democracy is always a work in progress. And we believe that by using our skills in machine learning, in behavioral psychology, in computer science, we can build a better future uh, where every citizen can have the most personalized and the most engaging relationship with their elected representatives. My name is Slava Polonsky. I am a researcher at the University of Oxford and the CEO of Avantgarde Analytics. Our first area of focus is a suite of uh, machine learning tools for algorithmic campaigning. That means that we are using AI to identify large-scale patterns of human behavior and attitudes, and we're using that to personalize election campaigns. I think what makes us unique is a very ethical approach to algorithmic campaigning. Every time we run an AI-powered campaign, we are always disclosing what data sources we're using. Every time there is a message that has been personalized with our machine learning algorithms, the people who are seeing this message can always see what kind of data points have been used. And we're always trying to adopt a very people-centered approach. The last year has been a very productive year for AI tools and politics. We've seen a lot of new startups emerging in this field, but many of them have been misusing machine learning technologies to distort political sentiment. And so every time we uh, pitch our startup to new political parties, there's always a little bit of skepticism, especially because our team is also very young. So for us, a challenge has been to use data insights to prove that we can have a real impact on trying to get people more engaged in, in politics. To be on the Forbes 30 and 30 list is a huge privilege for me and a huge responsibility. We are developing our machine learning algorithms on a daily basis. We're trying to improve our technology by getting access to the network of other Forbes nominees. I feel like there's a real opportunity for us to engage with other people, also working in similar solutions, working on new technologies, working on new policy approaches to make our democracy ready and fit for the 21st century. That's going to be the real uh, opportunity for us.